So his recent outstanding performances in the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate Examinations, which we call CSEC, has earned him the number one spot in ADMATH physics in the region. In the region. And he reached on that. That was recently released, the merit list. Jaheem Harris uh, in 6 1 at St. Diego High School. And there he is right there. Morning, Jaheem. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. Congratulations, sir. Um, number one in the region. It seemed that you probably weren't too surprised about that, or are you surprised? Well, I would say that I was surprised about the physics one. I wasn't 100% sure that I would place on the physics one. Yeah. So the fact that I even come, came in first was very, very surprising to me. Fantastic. It's so, Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Jay. I'm sorry. Yeah, the math was, I could say, someone expected, because I believed I put in my all on that math exam. Yeah. So I was kind of expecting that placement. So that was very good for me. Um, it's, it's a question I ask all the youngsters who I speak with because, and I, and I ask it this way every time, maybe they're getting tired of the question, but young people are given such a hard time because you don't focus and you want to watch this and you want to on Instagram and stuff. So um, where did this come from that you had this, um, this focus that you wanted to do so well academically and also in math? which everybody in the world is scared of. So the focus, I would say it mainly comes from my parents, actually. They were really helpful during the whole COVID stuff. Just being there for me, both my mother and my father, them allowing me to sometimes have free time, but also regulating my time when I would study and also that. I think that really helped me with the whole coping with COVID and allowed me to do well in the exams. Yeah. And I would say for mathematics, mm -hmm. at an early age, I was always interested in mathematics. So I'm not sure exactly why, but a lot of things in mathematics, I just really love about it. But you, you love it so much. You're a part of the Jamaica Mathematics Olympiad team. Um, and so I really believe that you, it's something you enjoy. Jaheem. Um, so, so talk to me. I mean, as you said, the parents helped with the preparation for it. I'm told that math is something um, you just have to keep practicing it. Is that the same for you or do you just have a natural aptitude? There is a lot of practice that comes with it, especially mm -hmm. the competitions. Mm -hmm. Because when we would use it, when we used to do the competitions, well, we're still doing it. But before pre-COVID, I would normally go over to the University of the West Indies for practice every Saturday. We would have some, probably four or five hour sessions. So that in itself practice. Also, God, he has to be there. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything without him, to be honest. So that's it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And mathematics itself, I just see mathematics as something beautiful. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. I would say that the foundation, this base foundation that we're learning in second form, sorry, in secondary education. Yes. Even though it's really good, I would say that mathematics as a whole is somewhat the complete opposite. Uh, well, because mathematics itself, it's not necessarily about memorizing formulas and all of that stuff that you might think it is. It's more about taking a problem that's seemingly impossible and finding an elegant solution for it by pulling from different sources. So just having a mindset like that, mm -hmm. I feel like that really pushed me towards mathematics as a well. whole. You're an Aris. You're an Aris, oh, true and true. Oh, stop it. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say you find mathematics beautiful and you beautifully explained all of that. You already said that your parents helped you during COVID. I'm going to read something that's quoted um, that they say you said. I would say COVID gave me an advantage because I was able to do online classes from the comfort of my home. But most youngsters say they don't like the, the you know, at home and the online teaching and stuff. But you, you are suggesting that it, it kind of helped you, right? Yes, sir. But, I would say that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that, um, even though online classes really are not a good substitute, well, I can't say good, but 
they're not the best substitute for face-to-face -face classes. Obviously, when you're face-to-face, -face, you can have a lot more hands-on experiences and the consultations with the teachers and stuff. Mm -hmm. But with online, it's given me a lot of time. Time that I would spend going to school, coming back home, all of that stuff. Yes. I've used it more to practice on my own subjects and mathematics specifically. Yeah. yeah. Have a little whiteboard in my room, I would like write on it and do some math questions. I would find some questions and try some, you know? Mm-hmm. Ten subjects, yes. um, including principle of accounts, chemistry, geography, information technology, English A and B, biology. Do you think that, that this, this, this aptitude and this love for math actually also helped to ground you in the other subjects and be so successful in them as well? Yes, miss. A lot yes. of these other subjects are some memorization, yes. but as you can see from my choices, some, uh, most of them are critical thinking skills and all of just stuff that is not necessarily just memorization, but a lot of going in the exam with knowledge and having to apply that knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Instead of basically just knowing it and not knowing what to do with it. Yeah. But so I believe that that really helped me. Yes, so mathematics is a very good like foundation yeah. for critical thinking and that comes with being relatively good at the rest of the subjects. Yeah, and uh, you're being humble because I think you're better than relatively good. Um, mm -hmm. You've done so many things. I guess you can be anything you want, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you leave school and leave university and stuff? What are you going to do? So right now, as of right now, my career isn't really set. I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to do as yet, but... Give me, as some, for give me study, some ideas. Give me some ideas that you some, might... Some ideas? Yeah. I, was, I was thinking about just going straight into pure mathematics lecturing maybe doing like some research and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I was also thinking about going forward into computer science somewhere and maybe doing some form of software engineering as well. Although I feel like for career, time can tell really and truly. I'm also going to do a program in the summer called SPICE. I think it's called Students Program for, sorry, Students Program for Innovation, for innovation in Science and Engineering. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So going there, not really going there because it's virtual. So doing that program, I believe that I can get a lot more insight on what I want to do, what I want to do in terms of my career and stuff like that. Jaheem, you, you've earned everything. You are greatness. Um, and I love the fact that you're embracing that about yourself. I wish you nothing but success. Big up to your mother and your father for the support that they give you. And um, you're a Harris. Yep, I was just gonna say, Jaim, you're not related to her. <laughs> and that's probably- Neville, you don't see the Harris cheekbone. Look at Jaim cheek, look there, see that? Can I just finish? See that, yeah. see that, yeah. Jaim, one of the reasons you are so brilliant is because you're He's more Harris. related to her. See the cheekbone, see the cheekbone. Our boss, Mrs. Claire Grant, is a San Diego um, past student. Her sons go to San Diego. And I don't know if you know, I coach at San Diego. So she, um, I'm sure she would want to uh, be here to tell you congrats. Fantastic. I'm a work. sister went to St. Diego. I'm a cousin them. Harris. <laughs> we have a good Harris legacy at St. Diego. Well, Jaim, Jaim, I'm sorry I'm going to put you through this. Jaim. But Jaim, much love and respect, son. You have, are brilliant. Continue to do what you are yeah. doing. Obviously, I mean, nobody not going to stop you because you're, it seems like you're doing what you want to do. So look after yourself. God bless you. And um, Thank you. when you become the, the, the chairman of the world, you can come <laughs> back. And tell people, say, Daily Harris never had anything at all. So, so <laughs> take care, Jaim. Thanks for being with us this morning. Stay safe and God bless you and your family. Take care, sir. Take yeah. care, miss. Thank yeah. you, Jaim. Jaim Harris, six months too late at St. Diego. Gosh, so bright. <laughs> <laughs> News at five is next, followed by our Father's Day quiz face off with J.R. Watkiss and Garth Williams. This will come.